Hi, I'm Ollie from Morgan Marine and today I'm going to take you on a quick walkthrough guide and sea test on the 2022 Mary Fisher 895 Sport. As you walk along the boat you can see she's a striking boat, lovely deep window all the way along the sea into the cabin. And we'll walk forwards and take a step on. She's equipped with twin Honda 250s, which gives you a performance of circa 45 knots and a comfortable cruising speed of between 22 to 25 knots. Starting in the cockpit, this is a rear seat section here. As with the Mary Fisher boats now, um, typical trait, the seat folds forwards and the whole section moves forwards, which allows you to trim the engines out of the water. We've got a large cockpit here, which is perfect uh, for fishing and other things you want to do, uh, you know, sort of hosting people. The seats, bench seats all around the side, we've got three of them, they all fold down. Gives you plenty of seating around the cockpit. There's an option for table in here which uh, will drop down and turn into a sun pad as well. There's also an optional table at the bow, which we'll show you in a second. We've got a large side access door, which is brilliant for berthing, nice and easy access. And we've got lovely, deep, safe walkways all the way forwards, which makes you feel very safe as you walk down the side of the boat. Up the front, we've got a large seating area here and still nice deep cockpit area as well, still keeping you feel nice and safe with high handrails. Your anchor locker here, which is nice and easy to access. And again, as I was saying, you can have the option of the table up here, uh, which also turns down uh, and makes it into a front sunbad. This front seat lifts up um, and gives you direct access to the cabin. And one of the best new features of the boat is the anchor is offset, which is brilliant because it allows you easy access into the anchor locker, which is really deep, plenty of room. And um, secondary, if you're on a med train in the morning and you want bow ladder on the front, it gives you that extra room and helps it make it easy to get on and off. We've got a really, really large side, side door here, which is really, really good size and perfect for when you're berthing the boat up. You can see straight out, easy access to the midships cleat. And again, once you're on a pontoon and the midships cleat, straight out the side door. As we step into the main saloon, we've got a folding saloon table as well, which allows us to have the trademark Mary Fisher seat, which flips back and turns into your co-pilot seat. On here, your galley is also here. So you've got a single burner stove and sink. Here we've got a couple of storage areas, drawers. Good size drawer there. Storage area on the neck. Easy access to all of our isolators and anchor trip switch. Good sized fridge on here as well. And we've got another 
lovely large sunroof. Which is equipped each way with a blind. On the dash, this boat is really well equipped. It's got a 12 inch Garmin chart plotter, come fish finder, a Honda digital display, Fusion audio system, Zip Wake automatic trim tabs, Garmin 215i VHF giving you the AIS feature, Honda fly by wire controls and switch panel with all touch start on this boat, bow and stern thruster to really make it easy to manoeuvre the boat. In terms of switches up here, we've got nice easy access to all of them. Nav lights, anchor light, electronic switch, two bilge pumps, which are automatic with a manual override, water system, LED lights, more LED courtesy lights, horn and anchor switch. Heading down, coming into the main cabin. So we've got a nice good sized main cabin in here which you can comfortably get two people on with an infill to square the berth off. You can see you've got a nice bit of access and this is the hatch that lifts up to the front. And lovely big skylight above us as well. We've got deep windows as we showed you from the outside all the way around on both sides once we move the curtains back. We've got a good size heads on here and you can see in here we've got the heads, shower and sink basin. And in the second cabin as we go into there you can see we've got a full size double which really utilises the space under the saloon floor. It's a really good size um, and you know comfortably get good two good size adults in there. All over the boat you'll see storage has been thought about. Every area has sort of been utilised. There's good floor access panels. For example this one here. And your bulk storage area is in your rear cockpit here. Good size lazarette, plenty of room for fenders and a tender. What we'll do now is we're going to fire up and take her out in the water. You can see as we turned away from the pontoon here, pushed off with the bow thruster offering brilliant maneuverability for the boat. You can see as we turn the boat with bow thruster and stern thruster we can rotate on our own waterline length.
we're now out on the water. Um, we just brought her, brought her down to neutral, so we're stationary at the moment. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to shut the rear doors so you can get just how quiet it is when we're going along. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring her up onto the plane. Um, she'll go onto the plane about 16 knots. We'll cruise along, do a couple of turns, and then we'll bring her up to full throttle. So we'll give her a trim down and give her a good bunch of power to get, get her out of the hole and onto the plane. 